Okay, there we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Coffee and Art. I'm Dee Dee, and this is uh, Ustream. And uh, Coffee and Art in the Morning on Ustream TV, uploaded to YouTube. And so if you're watching a recording, it's a live chat, live people, unless they're napping, <coughs> Jean. And then, <laughs> so what we're going to do now is, y'all know we've been working in this day book this faux led ledger book doing napkin journal art and uh I, i've posted all these pictures that we've done already and we're using a fairy book well a couple of fairy books we're using juliet crane's girls it's called monster and um juliet crane's animal book and the, some fairy books and napkins and so that's the kind of things we've been doing in the napkin journal. We haven't got real far. We used a color book, little uh, little leprechaun guy in that, but this is a nap, two napkins, I think, maybe one, two napkins here. And then we paint out, add color book pages, turn it into a little world. And sometimes add stickles. We might add more stickles. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So these are some of the pages that we've done in the napkin book. So today I thought we would do something a little bit more dramatic. We're going to go ahead and do a poster, the same process. I'll have to glue the napkins down and everything and I'll, I'll pick some out. But we're going to do a big poster. Now we're going to use, let me set this aside, we're going to use some pages out of the the big Moloskina deconstructed journal so again same kind of thing here that we've done uh, although I do have my old napkin journal in here I, I did a, a show on that already so let me get over to the pages we've done let me turn it around Ugh. to the back so we've done a couple other larger pieces and by larger I am really zoomed out now so this is like 12 by maybe 16, 12 by 16, and I'm going to stay zoomed out while we do the big process, and then if we do coloring and stuff like that, uh, I'll try to zoom in some more, but y'all know how, to, I think you've seen a, a lot of coloring for the day. We just finished up the Bennett Klein book, so I just want to show how to do a big process, a big project. I haven't done a big project for a while. Um, let me slip through here. And show a couple others that we've done. Here's one. This one was out of Somerset Studio. Face, napkins, napkins, stamping, painting, all kinds of things going on there. Here's another one that we've done. Okay, with the Juliet Crane Monster Girls and uh, napkin. And then this is all paint. <clears throat> There's another one. Again, napkins here, napkins there, cut out the girl, colored her, cut her out, and then added paint and clouds and all these different things. Um, this one's just more simple, but it is that the butterflies are a napkin, and we did have a collage bit in here. Today I'm going to do a double page, a double page, and uh, instead of just a double page, I'm probably actually going to glue two, maybe three pages together and do a large, I'm going to fill this whole, I'm, I might have to back the camera up even more, but I want to do a whole big, like little, whole big little world <laughs> with napkins, color book pages, collage, I'm going to do a complete mixed media. Most of the time I'll do mixed media in the art journal, pay, uh, art journal mixed media, where it's either one or the other. It's either, uh, it's either color book and napkins, just color book and and paint or collage journal, collage mixed media but I'm going to just mix it up what else is in here okay so I think those are all the finished pages I have in here the rest of the book here and I'll just go ahead and pull these pages out because I'm going to try to decide what I want to do okay so these are some more of the pages that are have just been smack and drag in other words they just have some uh, 
they just have some ink, dilutions ink, and maybe some leftover stenciling stuff, a little bit of collage on some. It's just a hodgepodge of, this is the pages out of the large um, Moleskina. It's just like a mole, mole skin, Moleskina, but it's, it's large, 12 by 16, I think. Now, these aren't cheap, but it's got the same kind of paper as the Moleys do. Um, not the sketchbook. I mean, it's the sketchbook kind of paper, not like the watercolor paper, anything like that. I uh, have shown lots and lots of journals on your shelves. Is there... Oh, yeah, there's lots you haven't seen. Well, let me put it this way, uh, Jody girl. There's a lot that I haven't shown recently. They've been worked in, like, previous to me uploading to YouTube. Because I've been streaming for going on six years, and I've only been uploading to YouTube for two, going on two. And um, so there's four years of journals that ha I've worked on over the six years that have not, you know, I've shown a few, but I haven't shown them all. And most of my journals are not, I work in them uh, wherever I want. They're not front to back. They're hither, tither, and yawn. <laughs> and so I do try to pull uh, some out every now and then and do flips of them. But I literally have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, 15, I don't know, 15, 15 16 shelves full of journals, smaller, larger, and that doesn't include my portfolios or big sketchbooks. That doesn't include sketchbooks, which I have my sketchbooks and portfolios under this table because they're big. They won't fit on a shelf, right? Like this. This, this fits under, the, under my table. All right, so what I'm going to do, let me set this aside. And what I want to do is I'm going to go through here and let's just, let me first see about a size. Let me move my focus thing. Let me just pick out some just to see the size here. I'm wondering if two would be enough. If I get three, it's going to really be, I'd like to do three, but then I'd have to move the camera really far back. I'm thinking maybe we should just stick with two. The other ones you saw were one. So um, what I, I think I want to do first, though, I, these are just a couple of, you know, leftover stencils, some sprays, some inks, and all that. I think I want to look at napkins first and pick out some napkins. I have, I still have a whole bunch of napkins here left over from what we glued into the napkin journal that I just showed. Um, like, do you like paper and making happy marks with paper? Pencil? Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love all of it. I love mixed media. And I do, but I love doing color pencil portraits too. So I'm thinking, let me just pull these napkins out here. And, uh, you know, and then I have bits of fairy pages that we could color and add some. I, I want to add at least one fairy. Hang on, guys. The camera popped up in front of me here. Okay. And, and I know we're probably going to have to keep readjusting the light, especially as I add white things to the mix here. It will uh, keep kind of kind of uh, wanting to flash out. Well, I think it would be, it, I'd have to move my camera so far back, you, you may not see too much. So I think two pages will probably do. Um, and I really do like this. This is a, would be a good one to add in, you know, in the sky, a flying bird and fairy. Now again, we're going to have to color this. And when I do these kind of things in these books, I, I'm not going to be adding the kind of detail to these color book pages that I just did the Bennett Klein book, where I spent eight hours on one page. This will be a lot less. It'll be uh, a lot uh, less detail. Let's just put it that way. Because I'm not going to spend eight hours coloring this and then no time to do the mixed media. I'm more, I really want to show you the process more than, uh, in this case, than coloring in a whole lot of detail because you, you know how much time you can spend on a color book page, right? So I think I'll pick her for one out of the Enchanted Fairies. Um, also have, this is the second volume two out of the Garden and Goddesses. Uh, color book. I don't know if I want something maybe out of her. Maybe uh, maybe we'll do some. Um, we could do a mermaid in the in the bottom and a you know flying fairy and the bird in the top. I'm thinking that. Let's just go ahead. Again, we'll see how it goes, guys. I plan now. I plan on this being at least 
probably three parts. So 11, 12, 1, 2, we'll probably be here for at least three more hours. So, you know, grab a cup of coffee. <laughs> and you got a perm from the humidity cast. Uh, we'll probably be here for about three hours. So, and I will divide it up into multiple parts. I won't do three solid hours. I'll divide it up. The reason being, for me, it just seems to upload, download to my computer and upload to YouTube quicker if I don't, uh, if I break it up a little bit. Okay. So it's kind of looking through here. I'm thinking those two will be good. All right, so I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to make all kinds of different worlds in here, right? Right? So got one out of there, one out of here. Um, I'm going to use napkins and then also some things out of the whimsical animals and the big monster color book. So we're going to do a true on all kinds. Yes, Sarah. <laughs> I, I won't stream longer than it goes into Jean's stream. Jean, but Jean likes me to stream long in the mornings here because she can nap before her stream. She can get all rested up before her stream. <laughs> All right, so I'm kind of thinking, uh, oh, let me go ahead and look at napkins because I'm going to kind of need a color theme here, color scheme. Here's another fairy that we cut out. Let me move her out of the mix. Let me move all these books out of the way. Just going to kind of keep clearing space, pile it up behind me. Now, you know, I kind of want some flowers, so I'm not really feeling the purple. I gotta say, I'm I'm wanting more into the. Uh, I don't want to lose my girls here. Let me move my, because I'm gonna go into a uh, an underwater world too. I think I don't know. We'll see. It's 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 just all we're all it's going on the fly, girls. Going on the fly, but I love this. I do like some butterflies. Oh here, oh look, yay, yay us. Shells and coral napkin for our mermaid. Yes, we will be using this. At least half. We'll probably go along the whole bottom of the page with this. Let me cut it in half. I don't know why I grabbed these scissors. So let's go ahead and cut this right in down the middle so we can use it. And again, you want to separate all the layers. Some of these have already been separated, but some of them have not. And what you can do is just take a piece of tape, just take a piece of tape and uh, tape, put some tape on the back and see how it just pulls. It'll just pull off that. Now there's usually two. So there's the first layer, another piece of tape, and then just tape it and then you can separate the layers fairly easy most of the time. There we go. See, because the tape pulls. So there's that. Let's do the same thing to this other half. <laughs> you're gonna nap Jean so you can do your stream later refreshed all right so now we got some underwater bits we got some I gotta still have to separate this too if I use these flowers <gasps> Space! The final frontier! We might add some space, too. I don't know. Does that have a layer on there? I don't think that has. I think we took the layer off. Maybe we'll add a little bit of... We'll see. It's going to be a big... Like I said, I would like to do three pages, but I'm not sure that uh, you can see a whole lot. We got some space. We got water. We got flowers in the middle. We're going to need... Oh! Here, let's go with... Let's look at this and this. Those two. I'm liking these two for the middle ground. For the middle ground, I think we'll go with those two. I don't want to overthink it too much, guys, but those two, the colors kind of coordinate together. You know, they have the reds, the greens. Got a bird. Got to always put a bird on it. So, and I got some butterflies here. Got that. What else do we have in here? Leaves. See, most of these have been taken apart. 
you know, we've already separated the layers. This is going to be too purple. I think I won't go with that because see these underwater colors kind of are match this. So I think that will be good. Um, we might, we could probably get in a, we've got a couple of sunflowers left. There's going to be some yellow in there, maybe a sunflower or two. Again, these are all too purple and pink. I don't want purple and pink. Um, no, I think we'll just go with that. Let's see what, what else do we have. we got little bits. Maybe a little bit of this. There's a little bit of, that might be too, I think I'll keep it nice and light and airy. Okay, we're going to go with that. I'm going to remove all this off the table. Alright, so now, real quickly, I'm, so now I know I, I'm not going to want these colors, right? So let's just get a little organized here. If you have any questions, yes, Terry sent me pre-peeled. <laughs> pre-peeled napkins. Alright, so I'm going to kind of flip, guys, until I see something that's going to work with the um, red and the yellow. Like this would be good, this particular side might work. It's got a little, and you know, it doesn't have to go that way. It can go this way. I don't care about what's on the back or the front. If I like one side or the other, so I'm going to pull that. These are two blue. This has already got collage on it. I'm going to add more collage too. See, something like, even like that, that might work with that. No, I'm not loving it. Too much, uh, I'm trying to keep not as much blue and purple. I'm trying to look more for yellows yellows, greens, that kind of thing. Here's a tiger. We cut him out to put on a page at some time. We'll use him at some point. <laughs> I'll be looking for that next year, Vicki. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at this. That's, again, that's too much turquoise. This one might work. Here we go. Now we've got a little bit more green. I'm, I'm kind of liking this better. This is getting so much orange in it. I'm not, I'm almost liking this better than this. This has got so much orange. I'll kind of set it aside, but I don't like, this is not enough. I need more. So let's set that over there and keep digging. Keep digging. This one's already got some napkin on it. So we're going to keep flipping. Some has more stuff than others. This is just all random. Okay, now, no, too much purple. Too much purple, but this one, I don't know, maybe. These two together. This might work. And I kind of like it this way. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, girls. Feeling this. They'll get, okay. <laughs> I'm liking these two. They weren't made together, but they go, right? So right now, so far, I'm going to set these two aside, and I'm going to put this one back. So I'm not going to go with that. Can always I'm going to add lots of paint too. I'm just trying to find something to start with, you know. I'm feeling those two. Okay, now we're getting into finish, more finished stuff or projects we've at least started on. So these might not. All right. Yeah. I think these are all too far. Too far. I don't want to say too far gone. They're too far in. I don't want to add some more to some of these. I think these are okay. So we're going to go with those two I picked. So let's move all this out of the way. Put this back in our big play portfolio. It's going to flop open. All right, sorry guys, bumping the camera. All right, so here we go. So what I want to do is, there, I want them to be one big thing, so I'm just going to lightly glue them together because they're going to be painted and it's going to be mixed media. There's going to be all kinds of things glued on it anyway. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down it. And we're going to make it into one page. Just to make it big, right? All right, so now we're at like 24 by 16. 
16 by 24 now is what we're working with. Any idea what weight that paper is? No, I don't. Sorry. It's it's like the same that's in your Moloskina, the sketchbook one. Because that's what it is. It's Moloskina paper. I just deconstructed it. <laughs> in other words, I tore it up. All right. So <laughs> now let's make sure we have enough light. It's I want it bright, but I don't want it flashed out. I think that's good. My I look like I have a nice tan, but other than that, I think this might work. Y'all let me know if it starts getting fuzzy or I lose, you know, light starts getting too weird. I'll try to adjust it. All right, so at least we got a start. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my napkins. I still have to peel these two. This one, let me get my tape. I'm going to take off the two layers here. Just one layer. Second layer. Okay, let's do this one. I'm not going to use the whole mat. I'm going to cut them up. I should probably cut it in half before I even. It's easier to cut. Uh, it's easier to cut your napkins down when there's still layers to them. But either it doesn't really matter either way. So we're just going to do and do all a little bit of everything in here. We'll see how it goes. If it, hey guys, if it doesn't work, if something doesn't turn out like we would like it to, it's still we're having fun doing it. We're learning process, and if things, you know, if we have a awkward, then you know not what to do. <laughs> yeah, deconstructed sounds better than you just ripped it up. Yeah. Okay. Let me. I'm not grabbing that one. Let me do another piece of tape up higher here. Come on. Come on. I know you want to separate. There it goes. Right. So I'm trying to get over to Denise's this week because um, the kids go back to school like next week. They start the first week of August. I'm not sure exactly what day, but uh, I wanted to see them spend a little bit of time with them before they go back to school. All right, come on. Let's see if I can just start a rip. There we go. There are always. Yeah, you can always paint over it. That's right. Now, I don't use gesso, but, you, you know, you can... Oh, I tore that. That's okay. You can always acrylic paint if you don't have gesso. And and gesso, nothing wrong with gesso. Paula uses uh, gesso to great effect for resist and everything else. I just don't... You know, the only thing I would use it for would be to cover something up or whitewash something. I can just do that for myself with acrylic paint, so... But, you know, you try your different supplies. See what works. All right. So now let me kind of just get an idea here. Let me, I know I'm going to want this. I am think I'm going to cut these borders off, though. I'm not really, because I'm going to have under C, so I don't want a border. These flowers are not going at the bottom. They're going in the middle. So I don't really want a border in the middle of my piece. You know, so I'm going to just cut those down. And you always, if you can, in collage, it's best to tear your images. But napkins, it's, it's a little trickier, you know, to fussy tear like you can a magazine image or something. So just be aware of that. I mean, I could just tear down a line like that, but to, like, cut your images out. And because they blend so well, they just, the matte medium just blends them in. It's not like you're going to have a lot of edges to them, but they do leave texture. Okay. The other thing is, is it's it's good if you can have your napkins on at least you know the a white area is better because of the vibrancy of the napkin. So if you can see here as an example, see how vibrant the white it looks on white. If you come down here and put it on the green, see how it dulls it down. So be aware if you start with any kind of paint on your piece as your background, if you're going to put napkins over it, it's going to dull it down. 
just just so you know okay all right so let's see i'm going to want some of this and a lot of it's going to get covered up you know we're going to have our color book images are going to cut a lot of it's going to get covered up all right so let me go ahead and cut this down let's see i'm going to start with just cutting it in half but i'll probably trim it down even more i kind of like this right here and i don't really care how much i cover up or whatever uh you know i'm going to kind of keep moving around i really wish i had three panels but anyway let's see let's go ahead i'm going to cut this down to two here I'm going to add a lot of paint and stuff. I'm just kind of piecing together some bits that I like. Maybe a few butterflies. I don't like the border. I'm just going to audition our bits for a minute. If you have any questions put them in caps again I don't want any border pieces but I want that butterfly up in space so if I come down here and then we're gonna have let me get my shells because remember we're gonna have some coral all right so I'm gonna fussy well not really fussy it too much but I'm gonna trim this up trim up the coral and the because a lot of it's going to get painted over. A little seahorse, a little coral. So I'm just kind of cutting it up here and there. Because we're going to have our uh, mermaid down here somewhere. Let's do this. Just, you know, just play with it for a while. Play with it for a while. And some coral down here. little seahorse down here in the corner. I'm right here on the edge of my computer. It's bumping right there. Okay. Let's see what else? What else? Some more. Bit of shell and see how this flower right there is coming down into the coral so we can connect all that kind of stuff later you can play with that let's add maybe one more flower without the border and I, I gotta remember not to turn my chair if I turn my chair right now the fan is gonna blow all this away <laughs> Okay, let's add a planet. I'm going to have some space up here. I think I might have a little bit down in the water too. Turn it upside down. Just, uh oh, now my air conditioner is blowing. <laughs> my air conditioner just turned on. All right, let's put a little post it now right there. I don't know if I want, I know I want some more up here, so I think maybe I'll cut this in half. I'm going to want some more stuff up here at the top. We're going to paint part of it and blend part. I, gotta, I just got to put my post-it note there because the air conditioner is blowing it. All right. Now, of course, you know, we still have to color our images. I'm just kind of looking here how I want. I need another something here. I, well, it's probably going to be our girls. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to fussy cut it out because I want to be able to color off the edge, but I want to kind of have some placement. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of generally cut out. All right, I'm moving everything around. Hang on. Just so I can kind of get an idea or where I want things. 
but not really fussy cut it out to the edge because it's harder to color when you do that. Okay, so I'm going to want her flying somewhere. Let's see, I'm liking that bird there. I might have to swap out some of this planet, like maybe this one needs to go here. And just this over here. I might have to turn my air down, or up rather. It's blowing everything. And we'll be, they'll be colored and fussy cut. I mean, but yeah, fussy cut out. But right now I'm just going to kind of place. And I'm not going to put all this coral and, and that seaweed in there. I just want her. Y'all still with me? Are we still here? <laughs> to move these birds up a little so we don't cover her cover the bird up something like this just kind of generally laying it out it's not going to oh the air conditioner <laughs> Okay, all right, I think I need a little bit more blue up there. I think I'll just cut this planet down just to have a little bit more up here. All right, all right. I want this butterfly up in space. So you can see not much, if any, hardly any of the background is showing. You see a little bit of color here and there. This Star Trek napkin. I probably have one around here somewhere. I really probably do. Um, I'm not thinking that we're going to need a sunflower. I mean, maybe. A, let me check my coral here. I'm thinking maybe even down here. No, I'm getting too many worlds going. Let me move some of this out of the way. Need a little bit more coral, I think. I want this coral right here. And there's words in the napkins. You know? I just want a little bit more coral down in here. Something like that. I might even want it this way. I think I want it upside down. That looks good. All right, now I want to look through. Let me move the rest of these napkins out of my way. I've moved. Oh, gee, I, I told myself the fan, the fan, the fan. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I told myself, don't turn the chair. Okay, now, <laughs> whatever. Well, one, two, just uh, postage because I'm going to pay for all my email. Okay, um, I won't announce that. Um, Kimmerby, if you guys in chat see Kimmerby's email address, you guys in chat that want apps, trust me, you don't want to put that on YouTube. Uh, Kimmerby. <laughs> oh, anybody that wants a napkin, just email me. All right, so now I got my little whimsical animals, and I also have my big monster girls. I'm going to just kind of see if any of this appeals to me for any more of the mid world, because she's going to be up here in the sky. She's going to be down here in the water or the corally area. I don't know if I want any of the girls because I know that I got these two girls. I think I'm just going to look at the animals and they may or may not go. We'll see. I'm just going to flip through here and see. Oh, let me kind of, I keep catching everything here on my, I need to glue these napkins down shortly. Oh, I'm asleep. See, even something extra big like that would be awesome in the background, I think. I'm kind of feeling that. I don't really want an owl. Nothing wrong with the owls. I'm just not wanting an owl right now. 
although an owl behind her. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Let's go ahead, guys. I am gonna. I'm gonna glue the napkin because <laughs> I can't work with everything blowing away. I just can't work with things blowing away. This goes over here. It's just it won't stop moving. You know what I mean, Vern. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and back up, beep, 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 without moving, <laughs> without moving the back of my chair so this doesn't blow away. And I'm going to get my matte medium. It's blowing a bit. <gasps> Sorry, guys. Bump the camera. Um, the camera. Okay, so I put my golden matte medium in a dishwasher bottle here. All right, and it's going to be a little tricky here because I'm going to do big space. And I'm just going to squeeze out how much I want. Okay, I need to fill the bottle back up. I'm going to need quite a bit. I'm going to need quite a bit. <laughs> I need to fill my bottle up. All right, now I need to get a glue brush. Back it up again. I'm going to get a large glue brush. Larger. Okay. And my glue brushes stay in water. They're the only brushes that I let sit in water, but that way they always stay flexible. So I'm just going to start working from one corner to the other. It's not an exact science. It's not uh, an exact placement. It's just a general idea. If something's not where I want it, we'll cover it up with more collage and other things. But I need to get these mat napkins glued down because they're just going to keep blowing around and it's going to drive me cray. Okay, so I know that I'm going to want. Let's start up at the top because I'm going to know I'm going to want these worlds. Now, with napkins, you all you can do is put it on the piece and then lay it down and go over the top. You can't turn this over and put it on the back like I do my collage part bits. You you just almost get one shot. You almost get just one shot at a nap, you know, gluing down a napkin. Okay? Because it will tear. And the same thing with while you're gluing them down, you want to be gentle. Let's move that ruler. Let's move the glue. All right. Everything's blowing away down here. And I'm, I'll, I'll let it go off the edge if I need to. That doesn't matter because I'll trim it down later. So if you have any questions, just let me know. We're just going to go for our big piece here. Just gonna shift things around. And they will leave texture. Okay, napkins will leave texture. Okay. I know I want my butterfly right here. Now let's do this one big piece right here next. Our two birds. I'm back here, Coral. Put the scissors on it. I love the look. Wondering how you're going to store this. Well, I'll fold it in half and put it in a portfolio. Or roll it up. I have big posters that we've done that I just roll them up. Stick them over in my rolled up artwork and rolled up papers. I have a place where I have rolled up papers. We can just roll it up. All right, so you see how some of the green is coming through from the back layer, purple and green. See how it's come through? All right, now let's keep moving on. I've got to squeeze out some more. Matte medium. Kind of slide it over. Quite that far. There we go. All right. 
it. Now let's do some of the corally bits down here. Put this over here. Be careful. Whoop, I just tore it. That's okay. Let's just be, be a little more careful here. Now it'll tear easy if you get stunned. I think I want to cut that little seahorse out because I don't want him hanging off the edge. I want him in, in the world. All right, a little bit more. Come on. Squeeze out every drop. I need to fill my bottle up is what I need to do. So I'm just kind of laying it out in a, it's kind of a background sort of way, but kind of, you know, a little bit cons conscious of where things are going. All right, this little flower over here. But we're going to do a lot of paint blending. So let's see what time. Okay, by the time I finish gluing this, I think we'll start uh, another segment with coloring the girls. All right, let's see. The mermaid's going to go. Let's put this little seahorse somewhere right in there. there something like that. Some more coral here. I think what I'm going to do is this little bit of coral I'm going to have coming down this way. Whoop, don't want to cover up the butterflies. There we go. All right, I'm liking that. And a lot of this is going to get covered up, right? A lot of it's going to get covered up. Now, the paper's not the thickest in the world, but by the time you put all these layers on, by the time you put all the napkin, the matte medium, gluing some collage images, um, painting, it, it's a lot of layers. Your paper gets thick pretty quick. All right, let me move these post it out of the way. Okay. So I think I'm going to stop right here with the napkin and let me, um, I'm going to go ahead and dry this and then I'm going to pick out a couple of watch parts. Um, that I want to glue down. Now when I fussy cut out, I'm going to color these separately, right? And then I'm going to fussy cut them out. I am not going to put matte medium over these colored book pages. I'll just glue them on with my Eileen's Tacky carefully and, uh, and, and uh, exactly where I want them. But they're not going to be like collaged into this. This is going to, they'll be fussy cut and, and glued on top. And then we'll add paint to blend them in. And you do not want to glue, even if, let's just say she's fussy cut out. You don't want to glue her in position and then try to color because the napkins are textured and if you try to color these images or any color book page on top of napkins, you, it's going to, you're going to pick up the texture. So you really want to do this in a separate stage and fussy cut them out and glue them strategically. All right. But let me go ahead and uh, now I don't have to worry about my chair blowing anything. I do want a couple extra. I want a couple uh, watch parts because I want to indicate time. I love putting time in there. So I'm going to just kind of flip through. I have got a few different magazines that have watches. I think I like this one. Uh, let's just see. It might be too silver. I might want to go more with gold. Let's see. I'm just flipping. Oh, I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna that one. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick three or four. I think I want a darker one. Oh, I'm liking this too. 
I'm gonna try to keep it with what we're going with here. Let's see. Maybe this and that. I'm just I'll show you what I picked here in just a second, guys. Ooh, a pagoda sort of looking thing. That would be cool. Hmm. Hmm. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to keep it more color book and napkin than I am collage -y. So I'm, I'm going to try to limit myself with the collage bits. Let's just try to keep it with these. All right, so I got a few different ones here. Let me kind of fussy where my scissors go. Where my scissors go. Where they go? So I'm going to just at least start by cutting them out. Then I might tear them down. But I'm just going to pull out see what I want here. Got two or three. And you can con you can add as much collage as you want. Okay, now I am getting hot. I gotta turn my chair so I feel some of that fan. I'm not being real careful because I know I'm going to add paint. I'm going to blend it, all this in with paint so I'm not being extra, you know, fussy about it. And then this one, um, I think I'll tear it, tear it in half and use halves. Let's see. I don't know. Don't know yet. Don't know. I kind of like that little right there. All right, so let's see what we can do. All right, let me check the questions. Looking good. Oh, hi, Eileen. Thank you. Now, don't overdo, Eileen. Don't overdo, Missy. Just saying. Okay, cause so I know she's going to be up here. Now, I don't want to push off. It's still damp, and I don't want to glue up any of this down yet. No. I think she'll go right in there. And the mermaid's going to go somewhere right in here. And I don't mind cutting a little bit off the edge down here. If she overlaps and she needs to be cut down, oh, I'll cut her down. <laughs> I think she needs a little bit of something right there, maybe. Because I'm probably going to want these watch hands to veer off. Maybe. Maybe. I think I want this one up here. Did we pick an animal? We did, or did we didn't decide. Hmm. It does need one more element, I think. So I'm just kind of deciding where I want to go ahead and, and mat medium down. The uh, I want to mat medium down the uh, what do you call it collage bits. I don't want to get it too lined up. You know, I don't want it too. These would be different sizes if they're going to be lined up like that. Although by the time we're done, I don't think it's, that's going to be much of an issue. Okay, so I'm thinking I almost might want this under the bird right there. Okay, so there. All right, so this is where, at least for now, I know I want my, um, let me squeeze out the last bit of my thing here. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue down my matte medium, and now I can put it on the back, too. I'm going to glue down my collage bits. And it's, it's a, usually a good idea to take a card and smash down, smash down your uh, collaged images, not your, not your um, napkins, but you can, you know, smooth down your uh, magazine images with the card. But be careful, you don't want to pull up all the uh, napkins either. 
going to make it so it doesn't wrinkle, especially since it's on top of all these napkins. I told y'all guys, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a process. This is quite a big project. As soon as I finish getting everything glued on, we'll start another segment because I want to stop it at good stopping points, right? No questions. Okay. Thanks everybody for being here. If I miss saying hi to you, thanks for being here. Joining us for a big poster size mixed media project. All right, did I get them all going down? I think so. All right, so I think I'm done with the matte medium. So I'm going to go ahead and put my brush back in the water and put everything, my uh, uh, glue stuff away here. Now I'm going to take the heat gun to this, and then I think we'll do a giveaway. We'll do a giveaway before I end this segment. Are my mods awake? Now, Eileen, don't you be, don't you be doing this. Carrie, Janet, Sherry, Terry, and Vicki, are y'all ready to do a giveaway in just a minute? You ready to herd cats? <laughs> it's inspiring things, Terry. So I'm going to trim all these edges. I'm going to trim all that edges off. Let me get it, you know, fairly dry, at least dry enough so I'm not sticking to it. I'll let the mobs get ready to herd cats. So if y'all want to do, I, I got a uh, color book here that um, actually uh, Angie Bell said, I wanted you to cut something out of it. Maybe, you know, I hate to send somebody a cut out book, but I'm going to look through it and see if there's some animal in there we might use on this project. Because I think she wanted me to use something out of it. Okay, one second, guys. Let me just get it so I'm not sticking to it, you know? Okay, I think we're good there. So, Angie Bell, My Fairy Treasures, and I, if y'all haven't watched the Happy Mail segment, it was fun. Y'all go watch it. Not right now. <laughs> she sent this uh, animal, Immerse Yourself in a World of Creativity Animals, and these are perfect for using in something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to flip through and see if there's something that I just like have to have on here, but I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway with this, but um, I know Angie was thinking I was going to use something out of it. There's a fish, but... Uh, you know, we, we are using, you know, two or three other things. And I'm thinking about using something out of the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, whimsical animals. But let me just flip through this real quick. I mean, the octopus is good, but he's way too big for, well, he's not really, but, you know, um, we've got, because we're going to have her... Her. So I don't know. It's too big. But we're going to give this away. We'll find another animal to use. So I don't have to send, I don't have to send uh, somebody, a, I don't know, I just feel funny. It's tearing out a page. Number one after DD type song. Yes, thank you, Janet. I don't know. Maybe I should use something. What do y'all think? Should I use the porpoise? Okay, I'm going to use him. 
I'm going to go carefully tear him out of the center. It's perforated. So I'm going to, I think, that page is. Is this page? Yeah, it's perforated. Come on. Well, I'll just tear the whole thing. All right. So I'll tear that out. And let me just kind of fussy, not fussy cut, but just cut down. He's a shark, but, you know, we could always paint out those sharp teeth. Because, <laughs> you know, we're the boss of our color book. All right, so I'm thinking maybe something like she's right there. And we don't even have to have the whole thing. But I'm thinking we need him in there somewhere like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me get the iPad. Let me get to random.org. Wait till I type in. Wait till I type in, go, go, when I type it in, then you can put in a number between 1 and 100. Let me get to random.org here. Mm -hmm. I'll throw in something else with the color book. Random.org. All right, so here we go. We'll have it ready. No, nothing is no number yet. I'm just going to set it down here. Well, I'm going to get it out of the way because it's flashing out. All right. So I'm going to wait till everybody gets their numbers in. Okay. Everybody put in a number between 1 and 100. One number only. The mods have already put these rules in the chat. One number only. The person closest without going over will send them this animal book and we'll send it's not my mail mail on it. Just a car going down the road. Um and I'll put in something else, a, another color book or something. And international's fine. You know, uh, when I can put something in just an envelope, it's not too bad. So I'll give everybody time and I'll put, throw in a surprise. I'll subscribe with it. All right, so let me just go ahead and get ready here. All right, he does look kind of meanful. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking we might just paint out those teeth. <laughs> we can paint out the teeth. <laughs> Uh, I'm waiting to sell. Is everybody done? Okay. Okay. All righty. All righty then. Okay. Hang on. Let me tell Hubster I'm still streaming. Hey, I'm still streaming. Can I call you back? Okay. All right, so here we go. All right, here we go. Let's generate a number. Generate. 44. 44. Closest to 44 without going over the orca orthodontist. Ah, Vicki, the orca ortho orthodontist. Oh, my gosh. Ah, <laughs> good one. Uh, now, yeah, now the light looks kind of good there. I don't want it too flashed out, but that's kind of that gave us a little brightness for a little while. It goes back and forth between the bright and the light. Okay, so we'll see who came closest at, between the four or five mods that are working it. We'll see who who uh, came closest without going over. I'll let them give them a minute, and they'll scroll back for me and see. I don't know. Who is it? 44. Carrie had four, 42. Okay, 42 for Carrie. Is that right? Okay. I gotta say, Carrie, I just sent you out a package. I wish I would have known. Okay, Carrie had 42. All right, now we'll, I'm going to probably do another one here in a little while. All right, put that in my pile of outgoing mail. 
Congratulations, Carrie's. You know what? Because it is. It's because you're uh, cat sitting. It's because you're cat sitting. <laughs> okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and get back to our project here. Um, so we're going to put the orca in here, and I am going to paint out. Let me just do that real quick. I think I'm just going to paint out his teeth. <laughs> I don't want to look like he's going to take the foot off of our fairy over here. So let me just get a brush. Alrighty. All right, let's just paint out. He's got some white acrylic paint here. I'm going to paint out his teeth. And we'll add color over the top. And again, I don't worry about going out of lines because we're going to fussy cut him out. All right, so let's paint out his mean teeth. <laughs> yes, you are, Terry. Terry, did you not put in a number? Yes, everybody can play. <laughs> Terry didn't put in a number. Terry! Now, Terry, let me ask you this. Did you get your Happy Meal yet? That I sent you last week, Terry? Did you get it? I sent out a lot of mail, and I know people probably tell me that they got it, and like maybe Twitter or something, I miss it. Okay. I don't know if you got it, Terry. You, you may have told me and I just didn't see it. Get rid of the attitude on his face. Well, I got rid of the teeth. <laughs> That's better? Okay. All right, so now what I want to do, let me dry that because that is kind of wet paint there. You haven't got your mail yet, Terry? You should have got it by now. It's been a week. It shouldn't take that long. All right, it's kind of still showing through, so let me go ahead and put another coat. Let me put another coat. All right. Oh, you did. Okay, good. I just, I don't, you know, I just like to know that it makes sure it made it, you know. Okay, good. Okay, see, I didn't see it. Or maybe I did and I don't remember, you know. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, sorry I bent the camera. All right, so I'm going to color this, this, this. And, um, oh, good grief, I didn't let that dry. Hang on, guys, let's fix that up again. I just smeared the white paint because I didn't let it dry, or I didn't let it dry enough with the heat gun. So let's put that back on there and dry it again. <laughs> I'll probably just paint it in blue or something. We'll see. All right, so now um, I got those birds there. This, this, this. I don't know that I really need any other anything. You know, by the time we get these three in there, I don't know if I need anything else. I don't know if I need something else up here alive. Let me look in my whimsical animals here. I don't know, a little owl might be good. Oh, I don't know if that's an owl. I don't know. Something little like that. Something too big up in the corner. It's going to be too distracting. Let's see. Just flipping. Just flipping. I don't think I'm going to put one of these in there today. Okay, we're going to go with just this. It's going to take long enough to color these. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do washes. Okay, I'm going to do it with washes to do them quicker. Again, I'm not going to get into so much detail like we did the um, Bennett Klein. We're not going to get that involved because we don't have time. So let me go ahead and stop this. Let me stop this uh, segment, and we're going to start another one. So if you're watching this recording, this is part one. So just uh, hang on, guys, and I'll be right back.